The national flag is the value of any nation. It is known that the country is a free country and this flag is the pride of India's national flag. Many heroes sacrificed their lives to protect the honor of this flag so that the flag could not hurt its dignity but always fight with full dignity and freedom. The flag that that we have today has actually been changed many times by different people had made the flag of the country. So in today's video we will talk about all the flags of India. When, who and why made it? First of all, the development of the flag or its history. You know this image. This flag is the tricolor of India today. The real form of the flag that we see today has been changed seven times. It has taken 90 years to come up to this stand. There are many stories in history behind its coming in this form. The first flag was built in the beginning of the British rule. In 1857 AD in this image, you see that this flag was the days that the British had made and applied in India. Then, the first flag of India was made by an Indian taking four years to make it. It was made by the disciple of the simultaneous Swami Vivekananda. It used red, yellow and white color. The colors of the flag were accompanied by some of them, with red color as a symbol of freedom. But the yellow color is for victory but the white color shows cleanliness and simplicity. There was a mark of a brajan between this. The sign was taken from Buddhism. On both sides of this flag, Swami wrote Vande Mataram in Bengali language but 101, ignition lamps were made in a line around the flag. The national flag was hoisted on the 7th of August, 1906 AD at the Slip Plantation Chalk in Calcutta. There was a version of this flag. Some people tell this flag the first flag. This flag was made up of three colors of rectangle shape. It included red, yellow and green color. At the top, there were lotus in the row in green. There was a yellow color beneath it, which was written by Vande Mataram, and at the end there was another sun on the red color. Then the second flag, which was accompanied by a year, was accompanied by some revolutionaries in Paris. In this image, look at the three colors in this flag, at the top, it represented seven stars, the Saptasi. Beneath it was Vande Mataram written in yellow, but on the last strip there was a moon star on a sun above the green. It was first crowned in Berlin. After that in 1990 AD, another flag was created in Sapna when the political struggle turned in a new direction. This flag was totally different from the previous flag. The flag had five red and four green regional stripes and seven stars that represented the Saptasi. On the left, there was a union jack on the top and a white crescent on the right and a star on it. After that, Mahatma Gandhi summoned a commission from Andhra Pradesh named Pingli Venkaya to make the flag. It was revolutionary in the freedom movement. They were entrusted with this work. Ask them to make a flag that shows the depiction of the entire country. The young man studied the flags of 50 countries in 5 years, and made a flag in 1921 AD which had two colors, one red and one darker. A picture of a charkha was made in the middle of both the plates. The red color represented the Hindus and was kept for the green Muslim religion. According to Gandhiji, it is not only a vision of Hindu Muslim religion. Other religions did not see any existence. So they added a white strip and a blue circle to it. This white color is an indicator of a cycle progression of other religion. This way from being the year after 1931, so much change, flag materialized and thus traveled to build this national flag. In this image, the flag was made in 1931. Then, just 22 days before India's reverence for the country, a meeting of the Constituent Assembly was held on 22nd of July, 1947. The meeting was held under the leadership of later Rajendra Prasad ji. The flag was recognized as the national flag of India in this meeting. That is, the national flag was declared. Now, some of the important fact about Indian flag, we tell you, was also set to choose cloth to make this national symbol. Khadi cloth made in India was selected for its construction. No ordinary person can make this flag. It is manufactured by the association including Khadi Gramudyog, an industrial unit located in Karnataka. The contract is definitely 2 by 3, but its length is 1 and a half times the width. The three color batia should be uniform in length and width. As per the rule of unfurling this flag, whenever a public event is held, the speaker wears the flag directly on the side of the viewer, which is the reverse side of the viewer. But its rule should be respected. 
the Indian common man is free to flag off today but earlier only on Independence Day or Republic Day. But industrialist Naveen Jindal appealed to the Delhi High Court in the year 2001 for one thing that the common man should also have the freedom to wear it but every common man should be free to flag love and respect for his country but the central government approved the appeal and the code of the national flag was improved. Now, Indian citizens are free to hoist this flag with full respect, but it is imperative to abide by all the rules of wearing it. Now few important things about the flag. On August 22, 19th to 7, Bhilazi Rustam Kamar was the first person to hoist the Indian flag on foreign land. He hoisted the Indian flag at the Second International Socialist Congress in Berry. The Indian flag was sent to the moon on November 14, 2008. India is the fourth in the world to convey the flag of its country to the moon's land. But the astronauts fell in 1907 for six years towards the Indian national flag. Space by paint commander Rakesh Sharma for the second time on this day. Was moved in. Now, we know the meaning of the tricolor in our flag today. The tricolor has three colors which are the brother's values in the size of the rectangle. It is in the ratio of 3 by 2. Three colors are declared in width on a uniform length. At the top of these, the orange color is the green color at the bottom and the white color in the middle is the Ashoka Chakra. This Ashoka Chakra has 24 stripes. This chakra gives a sense of continuity of life. It has orange color at the top of the tricolor with orange color. This orange color tells its story in itself. This color is mainly adopted by Russian new knights. It makes sense of spirituality. The prosperity of the country reflects prosperity and sacrifice and sacrifice. This color shows that prosperity and prosperity remain in our country. Then the white color in the middle is white in the middle of the flag. This white color shows happiness peace. This color inspires us to always follow the path of truth but always have happiness and peace in our lives. Then at the bottom is the green color. The final color in the tricolor is green. This green color symbolizes greenery and progress in the country. It gives a message that there is a rebound in the lives of all. The country moves forward on the path of progress and every person in the country should progress. The Ashoka Chakra depicts the Dharm Chakra which connects justice to righteousness. It has 24 resistant equipment. This chakra shows continuity. Since India is a secular nation, it is unanimous, that is, many religions are considered to be the same. That is why, according to Mahatma Gandhi, there is a secular principle of these colors. Kesari color represents Jainism for Hindutva as well as that emphasis. White color refers to Christianity but green color represents Islam. Thus, this flag is a confluence of religious principles of all religions.